use the source. Okay, now this is a pretty complicated problem. Um, this is conversions, uh, but conversions with the uh, maybe uncommon units, units we're not necessarily used to thinking about. So, uh, in May, you used 900 kilowatt hours of energy for electricity. So, first of all, remember kilowatt, whoops, kilowatt hours uh, means kilowatt hours. It's hyphenated, uh, and so that means kilowatts times hours. Whenever you see that hyphen, it means times. Um, so let's see here. Let's remind ourselves of a few things uh, when we talk about electricity. Um, when we have just watts, one watt is equal to one joule per second. Okay. Uh, remember, joule is just a, a measurement of energy. Okay just like watts, um, so watts is really sort of like a measurement of energy for time, a joule per second. And let's also remember that one kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 million joules. Okay, and these are all conversions that are in your book. Um, so you could look those up, but I thought I'd write those up there just to help kind of remind us of what's going on. All right, so now we can tackle these problems uh, having those handy. So A, convert or uh, excuse me, calculate the total energy use in joules. Okay, so I have 900 kilowatt hours, and I want to go to joules. Uh, oh, well, here's this nice conversion right here. Okay, so kilowatt hours should go on bottom. So one kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 million joules. So kilowatt hours cancel. 900 times 3.6 million, uh, that's going to turn out to be 3,240,000,000. Million. Joules. So just a J for joules. So that's my answer to A. So a lot of joules here. So B. Calculate your average power use in watts. Uh, and that's for the month. So first of all, how many days in May? Remember, May has 31 days. So if I'm using 3,240,000,000, Oops, million joules over the course of 31 days. Okay, now this is in joules per day, uh, but they want it in watts, right? Well, remember, watts is what? Uh, if I come up to this conversion on top, watts is joule per second or joules per second. I have joules per day, right? So I need to get rid of the days and get to seconds. So let's see here, days. Uh, well, one day is 24 hours. Again, I'm trying to get to seconds because if I can get to joules per second, that gives me watts and I want watts. All right, my days cancel. Now, uh, let's see here, one hour is 60 minutes. So the hours cancel, and one minute is 60 seconds, right? So now the minutes cancel. And I'm done, right? What's my labels? Uh, the label on top is joules, the label on bottom is seconds. So if I do this, uh, this is what? 3,240,000 
joules over 31 times 24 times 60 times 60 seconds. Now I'm going to show you how to do this on the calculator um, because this is very important. When you type something like this in your calculator, okay, so it's 3, let's get our calculator turned on, 3 billion 240, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, divided by, now, it's divided by all of this, so you need to put all of that in parentheses. So 31 times 24 times 60 times 60. So if you don't put all of that in parentheses, it's not going to calculate this correctly. So you really do need to know how to use your calculator. All right. And just to show you that, let's say I didn't put these parentheses here. So let me go up here and delete them. So now what it's going to do is it's going to take this 3,240,000 divided by 31, then multiply by 24 times 60 times 60, all right, and get a vastly different answer. See, way, way, way different. So if those parentheses aren't there, the, the problem is way wrong. Uh, so 12, uh, 1209.677, all right. Uh, so 1209.677, or if uh, we're doing this in watts, uh, joules per second, okay, okay, well, let's not get ahead of myself. So 1209.677 joules per second, but remember, one joule per second is equal to one watt, so this is 1209. 0.677 watts. So I got that answer. That's B. Now C says, uh, assume that your power supplier generates electricity by burning oil. It says, note that one liter of oil releases 12 million joules of energy. So that's kind of like a conversion. So one liter is equal to 12 million joules of energy. Okay, so there's a nice conversion that we might need. So how much oil is needed to generate the electricity you use? Uh, well, let's see here. How many joules did I use? Uh, that would be the 3,240,000. All right, so um, be nice if I could turn this joules into liters, and then, oh, it says give my answer in both liters and gallons. So I need to take this and convert it into liters and convert it into gallons. So first of all, let's take my joules and convert them into liters. So I had 3,240,000 joules. Now this conversion factor tells me, uh, now if joules is on the top, I want joules on the bottom. 12 million joules is equal to one liter. Joules cancel. So now I have 3,240,000. It's getting kind of tiring writing that out every time. Over 12 million And what's my label? Liters, right? That's the only thing left. And so if I type that in the calculator, uh, you get roughly 270 liters. So there's one answer, 270 liters. But they also want the answer into gallons, so why don't I take my liters and just convert them right to gallons? So I'll need a conversion factor. So let's take my 270 liters and convert them to gallons. And I'll need a conversion factor for that. Uh, liters and gallons, here we go. One gallon is 3.785 liters. I'll use that conversion factor. 
So uh, let's see here. I have 270 liters. Liters are on the bottom, gallons on top. Uh, that conversion factor was one gallon is 3.785 liters. Liters cancel. So that's 270 over 3.875 gallons. So if I work that out, that's uh, 70... 1.33 gallons. Whew. So lots of stuff going on there. I think the trickiest part though is just remember these energy units. Uh, joules per second. One joule per second is one watt. One kilowatt hour is 3.6 million joules. Um, if you can remember these two conversions which on a test you would either be given those or they'd be on a sheet for you. Um, but just make sure you know how to use them in the right spots.